Yeah, Megan, it is bustling out here now. As you can see, I'm just surrounded by trick-or-treaters. They've really been coming out the past 20 minutes. This house behind me alone has seen at least 20 trick-or-treaters in the past 15 minutes alone and it looks like they're braving the cold out here just fine but believe you me it is very cold out here temperatures are in the low 30s and it seems like no one is really minding that too much the kids are still out here having fun but obviously as it gets later into the trick-or-treating night it's going to be getting darker and that's when traffic safety becomes a main concern the st joseph police department is urging parents motorists and trick-or-treaters alike to be safe on the roadways and most importantly be aware Walk on sidewalks when possible. If not, then walk along the roadway facing against traffic so you can see oncoming traffic. People need to stay extra vigilant, stay off the phones, that type of thing. Watch for those kids because it, it would be a tragedy to, to run over a child that's out enjoying the, the Halloween holiday. And one of the things you can do to make your kids more visible out here for motorists is maybe give them a glow stick, a flashlight, or maybe some reflective material on their costume so that they are visible if they do happen to dash out into the road. Kids are having fun. They're doing cartwheels outside. It's looking like another spectacular Halloween. Fun is being had by all out here. Trick-or-treating will continue until later on tonight about 8.30, 9 o'clock. And for News Press Now, out here on Ashland Avenue, having a great time on Halloween. I'm Zach Barrett. <laughs>